that your dress is absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. I get to see you in four days. Four days. You're getting married so soon. Next Friday, you're getting married. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm so happy for you. Can't wait to see you. Love you. Fall has finally arrived. It's beautiful in my neighborhood. All the trees that have turned their leaves. So, it's NaNoWriMo day three. And after nearly 4,000 words written, I've realized some things about my story. Number one, my story has fascinating characters, great characters even. My story has really great themes. But the issue is, my story has no plot. Yep, there's no plot. And there are some conflicts that I'm kind of rumbling around with in my, in my mind. But without a plot, those conflicts cannot be fully flushed out and plugged into the story. So I've been spending a lot of time just kind of going over in my head what I want the actual plot to be. Once I started writing, the, quickly, the story quickly went from being a young adult novel to a new adult novel. And I think I have outgrown writing young adult. I just have no interest in writing about high school aged teenagers or people anymore. And it, it took me until this attempt at this particular novel to realize that lately I have a concept or an idea and it starts out as a young adult novel and it quickly, quickly morphs and turns into a new adult novel. I find the ages in between um, the end of teenagehood and the true beginning of adulthood to, adulthood to be very fascinating, which is why I've always gravitated towards writing new adult novels or at least new adult aged characters. And that's also something I've had to think about, just that transition that I've made without even realizing it. And it's been very gradual. It's happened over time. But it's just a reality that I've had to face. And I've always pictured myself as a young adult author and I've always pictured myself as being published as a young adult author. And now I'm having to admit to myself, sorry, my hand is getting really tired of holding this phone. I should have brought my selfie stick. But now I'm, I'm having to admit, admit to myself that I have no interest in writing young adult anymore. And I'm a new adult writer now and a new adult author. When did that happen? Oh my gosh. And when I say outgrown, I don't mean like if you write new adult books or stories, published or unpublished, that you're somehow immature or not a seasoned writer or that you're not doing something worthwhile. I actually hate that idea and that concept that if you write new adult books or read new adult books that you're immature or something about you is lacking or strange, that as an adult you would enjoy to either read or write young adult books. I find that to be very, very condescending and just gross to say so that's not what I mean by that I mean me personally as a writer has like outgrown that in the sense that is no longer something that is within my heart to do and I'm so in love with that genre and so in love with the idea of joining like my favorite authors in the ranks of being published as a young adult author that I didn't even want to admit to myself that I don't want to write that anymore and that I'm just not truly interested in writing that anymore and yeah that's just that's all i'm trying to say i just had to come back and clarify that because i knew some of y'all would try to come for me in the comments don't try me darling don't try me
All right, so it is NaNoWriMo day five. Yes, day five, and I am so behind. I didn't get a chance to get any writing in yesterday because I had a hair appointment. That was about eight hours long so I could get these braids or twists put in, and it took forever. So I wasn't really in the mood to write. That's Teddy, just ignore him. I couldn't write before my appointment because I'm gonna be traveling on Wednesday, so I'm just busy. I was busy doing like last minute, you know, traveling stuff and laundry and all that. And then I couldn't write during my appointment because I was in so much pain. And it's just hard to be like creative when like there's a lot going on on your scalp and it's not the most pleasant feeling. And then I didn't get home till about 11:30 p.m. And at that point, I had to get ready for for bed because I had to wake up early this morning. Teddy's doing the most. So I have to go into work this morning, so. <sighs> but the good news is, today at work, it's pretty light, the schedule. So I'm gonna try to get in as many words as I possibly can. I'm gonna be doing a bunch of word sprints all day. I'm gonna be there from 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. So between those hours, I'm just gonna try to get in as many word sprints as I possibly can and catch up and then even try to go past where I'm supposed to be at because I am going to be traveling within the next few days and I'm going to be in a wedding so I don't know if I'm going to have time to really write. So today's goal, I don't really know, but I want to write as much as humanly possible so that I'm really ahead. So, update. Work is super slow, so I'm about to start my word sprint on my story. I'm still at 4,210 words, which is where I was after the live show on NaNoWriMo Day 3. So I'm going to word sprint for about 30 minutes and see how many words I can get up to. I think my goal for today is to write at least 7,000 words. Let's see if I can get there. I really want to. Okay, I'll update you guys in a bit. Bye! Okay, here is my update. It is currently 12.19 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I've been writing on and off for the past hour in between eating my lunch. And I am now up to 5,072 words, which isn't bad, but I definitely need to get some more words written. By the end of today, according to the Nano Daily Word Count of 1,666 words a day, I should be at 8,000 330 words that's where I should be by the end of today so knowing that I'm going to try to shoot for 10k today I think I can do it I really do so I will keep you guys posted and let you know how it goes Okay, update. You guys, I am so, so close. I have been riding up a storm. It's been so slow today. Barely anyone has come in. Barely anyone has come in through these doors today. So I've just been getting in as much riding as possible because like I said, with this trip coming up, I just don't know how my schedule is gonna work out. So I wanna try to, you know, get in as much as I can while I can. So I'm just gonna show you where I am so far. One second. So exciting. So as you can see, this is chapter one, which has 5,614 5, words. I have since moved on to chapter two. Whoops. 
chapter two. And right now, currently on chapter two, I'm at 2,827 words. So I went back on the NaNoWriMo site. Sorry, I don't wanna focus too much on what I'm writing. So when I went on back on the NaNoWriMo site, I added those two together. Just to clarify, I'm actively working on chapter two and I'm right now at 8,441 words. So I have currently at this point hit my word count goal for the day. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. I came from behind, okay? I was behind more than one day. I, was, I didn't get anything written yesterday and then I hadn't written for today yet when I checked in with you guys earlier. And then on day three, I didn't even hit my word count goal because I had done that live show and even though we did that word sprint during the live show, it wasn't long enough. And so for day three, I only had a little over 600 words written. So I was really coming from behind. Day three only had about 600 and something words written. Day four, nothing. And it's now day five and I've managed to catch up and even surpass. And that's what all the distractions going on today. I'm at work, phones ringing, people talking to me and not understanding that I'm trying to write, etc., etc. And I still managed to reach this word count goal. So just letting you know that it is possible and you can definitely achieve that. So as I said, I'm gonna to try to get to 10K today and I think that's possible. I still have a few hours here and then a few hours this evening. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, real talk. It is currently or still NaNoWriMo day, NaNoWriMo day five. Mm, 10.09 PM, I procrastinated all night. I've been wanting to write since I got home around 4:45, but i've been putting it off i did some reading i took teddy out fed him had some dinner um drank some water took a nap i mean i've watched a few youtube videos i've just been procrastinating like a mother but it's time for me to get back into my writing and i really want to hit 10k tonight so i'm gonna do a writing sprint so I'm going to start at 10, it's 10.09, so I'm going to try to start as soon as possible and do a writing sprint for the next 30 to 40 minutes of just pure writing. And then I'm going to film all that so you guys can see my road to 10K and hopefully I hit it before this night is out. I don't want to write too long because I'm getting really sleepy. But I did update my word count and it looks like I am currently at... Let's see, I'm gonna have to do some math here. Let's see. Chapter one, 5,614 words. 5,614 words in chapter one. Plus, how many words do I have in chapter two? Which I'm starting to wrap up chapter two now. I have 2,840. 48 words in chapter two. I feel like that's not too far off from where I was when I left work. So 2848, 2848. So 8,462 words. When I left work, I'd updated my word count on the NaNoWriMo site at 8,400. 441 so I'm at 8,462 so I did write a little bit before I started filming so I'm just gonna go ahead and update that word count right now so that's 8,462 462 update so now it is currently 10 11 I'm gonna start writing for the next 30 minutes let me do 15 minutes and then I'll check back in with you guys and let you know how my story is going. So, just want to try to get as many words in as possible. So, here we go! Word sprint time!
guys, I'm getting super close. I'm currently at 9,367 words. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap it up and get to 10K and I will reconvene with y'all once I hit 10K and then I will give you a story update. All right, well not bye. <laughs> See you soon. I made it to 10K y'all, I'm so proud of myself. My current word count is 10,095 words. And I know I promised that I would go way more into my story, but I am exhausted. It is 11 p.m. I'm going to sleep. I got to work tomorrow and I want to get up early and get some words in, do some laundry. Ooh, this crusty. Let's do some last minute things before I have to travel Wednesday night. So I'm going to sleep and I'm going to sleep very well knowing that I hit my NaNoWriMo word count goal for today. I'm so proud. Yeah, good night. This will be the end of this first vlog. So I've decided I'm going to do post my NaNoWriMo vlogs with um, five days worth of NaNoWriMo within them. So this is the conclusion of NaNoWriMo vlog one with NaNoWriMo days one through five included. So I will catch you guys in NaNoWriMo day six in my next vlog where I will tell you more about my story and how my writing process has been so far. All right, bye. See you later. Peace.